Hello everyone, and welcome back to another review. Today, we're taking a look at one of my most anticipated third-party accessory packs for one of my favorite SH figure arts in the Dragon Ball line, the DL Custom Sanctions of Justice head sculpts for Goku Black. DL Customs offers these kits in Super Saiyan Rosé and Super Saiyan, which can be had in two different finishes, matte and pearlescent. Me personally, I opted for the pearlescent finish to match the more recent releases from Tamashii Nations, and from my initial impressions, I have to say I'm blown away. As to where I got these, I picked these up on Omnime for around $43 US a piece, and at the time of recording this video, they are still available for order, so please do not go to eBay and get price gouged. This is not a plug for Omnime, I'm just saying, go where you can get a deal. eBay ain't your friend right now. Taking a look at the packaging, there's nothing special going on except for the front of the box, which are color-coded, and the finish is notated to indicate which version you have. Inside, we can see two extra head sculpts, one in a static pose, and the other in a more windswept pose for when Goku Black first transforms into Super Saiyan 2 in the manga. In addition to that, we also get an extra bang piece with a static hair that has the bangs on the right slightly parted more. I assume one or the other may be more accurate for the transformations depending on what source material you're looking at, and I know that the sculpts in the static pose aren't really Super Saiyan 2 based off of how the bangs are separated, but Toriotaro shouldn't have goofed and put the lightning in the aura if it wasn't Super Saiyan 2. Rant aside, for the faces we get 7 in total when you count the ones attached to the heads already, which all look amazing. We also get 4 interchangeable hands, 3 for the right, and 1 for the left. And lastly, we get two energy effect pieces, a curved energy blade, and an effect piece to represent the scene in the anime where Goku Black stabs his hand with his own energy to draw out the scythe. For the paint detail on these accessories, they are done beautifully. The line work and the hair sculpts don't distract from the overall presentation, and the pearlescent is subtle enough that it's not in your face like the pre-tell release of Goku Black. I'm personally a fan of having the line work being modest as it looks cleaner and reminds me of the earlier Dragon Ball Z art style, but here, I don't mind it. The print work for the eyes and lines of the facial features are very detailed, and DL Customs did not overlook the slightest detail in the eyebrows and the sideburns, as they are painted in the same finish as the hair. So for a closer look at those faces, we have a neutral face, a smirking face looking down and to the right, or Goku Black's left, a shouting face that's looking down slightly, an evil smile looking slightly to the right, or Goku Black's left, a smirking face looking dead on, a neutral face looking down and to the right, or again, to Goku Black's left, and an evil smile looking dead on. For the hands, we have the iconic Super Saiyan Rose hand, the hand for the key effects, the mitten that we spits on Zamasu to keep him from killing Gowasu, which this is more of an accessory for Zamasu, and the hand Goku Black stabs with his energy. For head swapping, we'll be looking at what each of these head sculpts look like on the original release of Goku Black and the general release of Rosé. Personally, I think the Super Saiyan 2 head looks the best on the OG Goku Black, as it's not clashing with the pink shading on the Rosé release. I will also note that the heads go on without much fuss, but if you're worried about stressing pegs, do grab you some hot water. You'll definitely need it for the hands. So if you're debating on getting these, do it before you have to resort to the aftermarket. You'll love how it really makes the figure pop having a more modern looking sculpt not only for the head, but the faces as the original sculpts are starting to show their age. It's hard to believe that Goku Black originally released back in 2018. DL Custom, if you're watching this, if we could get some power down head sculpts, we the community would be set and temporarily be in 16 digit credit card debt to you. I know I've been wanting a Super Saiyan 2 head sculpt for Goku Black ever since it was shown in the manga. And I even tried head swapping the Super Saiyan 2 Goku event exclusive onto the general release of Rosé, it just didn't look right, probably because of all that pink shading. While I'm still partial to the matte finish of the rosé sculpt from the original release and the demoniacal fit accessory pack, I think these will definitely have a place in the display. So for those of you who made it to the end of the review, I appreciate y'all. If you haven't already, kindly hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already. It helps me out and keeps the channel growing. Plus, I've got other reviews up and more to come. As always, I appreciate y'all stopping by. This has been Tolete Reviews, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.